Okay, you want to know why sleep paralysis happens in the first place? Why do people suffer from sleep paralysis if they haven't done anything to cause it? Like, for example, some people can actually cause it by, you know, playing with the Ouija board or doing seances, things like that. When they mess with something that they have no control over because of um, their own type of uh, naive or ignorance or whatever like that, they could just draw these uh, negative entities to them. And then whenever, whenever they try to sleep at night, they have this feeling that they're being watched. And then <clears throat> their body goes paralyzed when, when they attach themselves to their auric field. And then do whatever they want with you. Want with you. And people have to live with that terror until they actually find a way to get rid of it. Now, that's just one way. But as far as people who haven't done anything, this is the reason why. The reason why is because these entities, these creatures, which again, they're flesh and blood, they're biological, they're not spirits, and they're not demons. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, they're not demons. However, they are evil, mischievous, and diabolical, without, without, without a shred of a doubt. They look for people who have negative energies. They go around searching for their victims and they find someone that there's a potential a potential victim to mess with and they say, oh, there you are. Let's mess with him or let's mess with her or let's mess with this family because there's a lot of negative energy. Let's say family drama, um, the wife or the husband or arguing a lot because they're under, they're under a lot of stress you know from their day to day regular jobs that they have they have a boss that's treating them like crap they have co-workers that don't respect them they have kids that are they have kids that are a little bit out of control or whatever whatever the case may be they search for people who have um, a falling out or, or, or any kind of negative energies and then they attach themselves they have to mess with that family so they can feed off of their, their hate, their fear, their misery. Even a person who's depressed. They could, they could come across a person who is um, very depressed because he cannot, you know, find somebody that would, that would actually like him or like her or whatever the, whatever the case may be. And then they could actually go as far as to mess with that person to make, the, to make that energy worse. And then they end up committing suicide. There's many different ways of, 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 of them attach, of, uh, attaching themselves to people like that. And also, this also happens sometimes with, with uh, another person when he was talking about um, his encounters with um, a negative entity called Duros, which is some kind of uh, fairy beings. Um, they have like a long trunk and they, 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 they laugh in, in a very disturbing kind of like, kind of way. And they make a, like a slight honking sound or whatever. And they're like real chubby and real and, and large. Now he says that, um, they're very scary looking and, and the way he described them is like describing an elf or a goblin. He said that his life was just normal. He never messed with anything. But he, one day he had a falling out with a with a, a roommate of his, and it got to the point where they almost you know exchanged fists, you know punches, exchanged punches. So he did he didn't want to go there, so he just said, you know what, okay, I'm I'm just moving out. So he moved out, and then he just went to go visit a friend at some cabin. To stay free, you know, to blow out some steam and just like try to calm himself down. Then they went fishing or hunting or whatever like that, or the next day. One night, he, he decided to go to sleep. And then, um, it was very late, very late. He decided to smoke a cigarette. He didn't even go to sleep as of yet. 
um, just, just when he was about to finish the cigarette completely, he was about to put it out. As soon as he put it out in the ashtray, that's when he felt paralyzed. He felt something touching him in his, in, in his shoulder. He slightly turned and he saw that creature. And he messed with him for a long time. He didn't know how long the whole event happened, but, it, but they actually messed with him. Now, he said the whole thing was horrific. He doesn't know why it happened until later on. He, he suspected it's because of the fact that he had a lot of negative energy from what happened to him. You know, his argument, you know, the falling out that he had with his friend, his roommate. He could be a person who just lost his job because he don't want to take crap from his, from his uh, co-workers or from his boss anymore. He was taking a lot of verbal abuse, a lot of psychological and emotional stress. That could also do it. That's the reason why.